what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy the retro slasher coming back at you guys with a brand new update video uh the post holiday 2022 edition uh yeah so everything in this video is everything i acquired from black friday to christmas uh yeah acquired quite a bit of stuff uh should be a fun video a lot to get through but hopefully everybody out there enjoyed their holidays and whatnot uh yeah um, let's get into this uh, first couple things something i don't really ever show on my channel but um, went to a, a store here uh my fellow new englanders would probably know the store newberry comics but picked up a few pops funkles um first one up here i grabbed was the leprechaun funko pretty cool uh, that's the whole reason why i went there well i didn't go there for that but was the reason why I picked this up because I was like I thought this one was pretty interesting looking and yeah big fan of the leprechaun um next up picked up a leather face one next up here I uh, picked up a Reagan from the exorcist pop with the vom green vomit everywhere um yeah it was like buy two get one free or something like that I just picked up the three all right next up here got this as a christmas gift from my lovely girlfriend um one of my all-time favorite tv shows uh, i don't really pick up a whole lot of tv series uh, but this is one of my favorites like i said and the thought of um streaming going away one day or something and not being able to watch my uh favorite tv shows especially with the way disney's going and everything uh since they own fox now so uh, she got me the complete series of sons of anarchy here um it's a dvd set it's fine with me um but I'm very appreciated of this and watched this series three times already start to finish <sighs> Right, next up here is a 2022 film that I did see in the theater when it came out. Um, that is The Batman. Picked this up on Black Friday. I think at Walmart. 10 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. I thought it was a real good film. Um, only complaint about it was kind of long. Can't wait to uh, definitely give this a rewatch still. Um, in the comfort of my home and not an uncomfortable movie theater seat. <laughs> Next up, another 2022 film that I did see in the theater as well. Um, a sequel to a film that also came out this year. It's quite interesting, and that is Pearl. Um, I loved X and was anticipating on seeing this. And, man, this movie is really, really fun. It's a blast. Um, definitely one of my favorites of the year. More on that in a future video. But, yeah, Pearl. All right. Picked this up at Walmart. It was on sale for, I think, like eleven ninety nine or something like that. Um, from the Restaurant Video Collection. That is the Silent Night, Deadly Night Trilogy 3, 4, and 5. Um, it's been quite some time since I've seen this, these three films of the series. Um, I have the other two from Screen Factory and whatnot. But definitely can't wait to, to give these a watch next year. No, I'm not going to really watch them now. It's not Christmas anymore. But glad to own this finally. All right, next two up here, I got these um, from Scream Team releasing. Um, got an upgrade of upgrade of the barn. I did have this on DVD, but wanted to get it on Blu-ray. It's a one of a fun film from 2015. I think it came out in great, great independent film, and so I had to pick up the sequel. Um, it was a little past Halloween when I got this, so, yeah, didn't really get to see it for then. Um, I still might watch it before the year's over, um, but looking forward to checking it out. Love the first one. Heard good things about the second. All right. Next few here are from the MVD sale. Um, not really a label I collect or anything like that. Um. Just, they're having a really great sale on Black Friday, and they're all either like six ninety nine or eight ninety nine. So picked up a few of them. First thing I picked up here, this film I'm not really too familiar with, but sounded interesting, and 
up my alley, and that is Monday morning. Looks to be like one of those uh, high school gang movies or something. Um, but definitely willing to give this a shot. Next up here is a film that was quite infamous a year or two ago when I got a Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome. I missed out on that. Uh, but I did pick up Action USA. Yeah, I hear a lot of interesting things about this film. Can't wait to check it out. It looks cheesy as all hell, but Andy likes cheesy as hell. All right, next up, I got a double feature pair of Bolo Young films, and that is Bloodsport and Iron Heart. Great rips on John Claude Van Damme movies, which he was in when one of them. I don't think he was in Lionheart, but definitely was in Bloodsport and Man, Blade Blood Fight. So can't wait to give these a watch. They're probably terrible, but what can you go? All right, next up here we got another film, same type of martial arts film, and that is a uh, showdown. Looks like a maybe like a Karate Kid ripoff or whatnot. I'm not too familiar with this, but it does have Billy Blanks in it. Billy Blanks has been getting a lot of love lately in Blu-rays and 4Ks and stuff from Vinegar Syndrome. Um, but the trailer to this looks super fun and cheesy. All right, then I picked up Split Second. Um, always heard a lot of good things about this film. Uh, another one I haven't seen before, but like I said, heard lots of good things about it. I can't get, wait to give this a watch. And last thing I picked up on the MVD sale is a remake of a classic film. I remember when this came out, I didn't even know it was a remake. I was a noob in the game, but I always kind of liked this fun. This film is fun. It's a lot different than the original film well, to an extent, but that is the Walk and Tall remake with The Rock and Johnny Knoxville, which, yeah, Johnny Knoxville in a action film, but fun, fun film. All right. Here. Then, of course, you know, I had to hit up the Kino sale. I love Kino. Probably one of my f top three favorite labels. Uh, they just release a lot of fun, obscure films and mainstream films and things like that that I absolutely love. I only picked up actually two Kino titles, but we'll get to that in a minute. First up is a French film, I believe, and that is The Body of My Enemy. And I picked up, sorry, I'm a little under the weather and whatnot. And next up, I picked up Million Dollar Mystery, which I believe is the original version of the film Rat Race, which was like from 2002 or something like that. Um, looks like a fun little comedy. All right, next couple are from Cold Red, which, you know, Kino deals with Cold Red and Scorpion as well. Um, these were dirt cheap. We can get probably cold red movies for this cheap. You can't pass them up. Um, thing, Terror Squad. Uh, this is an Italian film. I, yeah, The Violent Breed. Trying to get into more Italian action and crime films. Uh, this next movie is not the greatest movie in the world. I have seen this before, and it, I do own a DVD of it, but. I have to upgrade it for the slasher collection and whatnot, and that is Scream. <coughs> All right, next up here is uh, The Last Hunter. And Death Before Dishonor. And, uh... 80s teen sex comedy. Well, not really teen. I think they're in college, but Eternity Vacation. Love me some 80s sex comedies. Alright. <coughs> now, this next couple films are films you'd be surprised that I would buy, but like I said, I'm trying to get into more Italian and 
films and stuff like that, especially in the action and revenge and thriller genre, um, exploitation films. Um, this isn't, I don't think this is Italian, but this is the female executioner. Got this for a really good price. So these are all from X titles from Severin. All right, then I picked up Blood Hunt, which I believe is like a revenge crime film. The trailer looks fun. It's the thing with all those Italian films. The trailers always look ten times better than movies probably are. But, all right. Then these are newer releases from Severin. That is Double Target. Born to Fight. And Cop Game. Yeah, so I'm excited to check all four, three, four of those films out. I believe Blood Hunt is not Italian. I think it might be Spain or something like that. Argentina, I don't know. Get them all confused. All right, next up. Oh, Vinegar Syndrome slash Vinegar Syndrome partner label films. Um, this one's a horror Western film, Western film, which I've never heard of this film before ever, but it's got really cool cover art and it, the trailer looks fun as hell. I ain't gonna lie. But I, t I tend to watch a lot of trailers or films before I buy them. And I know the job of the trailers is to sell you on the movie, so I'm a sucker, but whatever. I picked up Devil Rider. Like a little fun film. Next up, I picked up a. I'm not sure if this is from the 80s or 90s. It might be. Let's see. Sometimes it's so hard to tell the date on these things. 1989, the year I was born. Buried alive. Um, then I picked up this on a vinegar syndrome Black Friday sale. Um, I thought I didn't pick the slipcover, but it's one of those VSA releases, and that is Wolfpack. And then one of their newer releases, that was one of the Black Friday exclusives, which I definitely thought was going to be in a, uh, the box set that I'm about to show, but I had a feeling when they were teasing the hints of what the films for this year's Black Friday was going to be, I definitely thought this is one of them, and it was Evil Laugh. Excited to have this finally on a Blu-ray. Have the old DVD that looks like shit. Can't wait to uh, see this film in a better quality. And always a fun little '80s slasher film. Then I, speaking of another film that had a terrible release, but not so terrible, but just was a really grainy, crappy looking DVD. And that is Don't Open Till Christmas. Um, didn't really get to watch this on Christmas, got real busy with work and whatnot, and just grind for a holiday, so maybe next year I will pop this one in and give this, uh, movie, uh, proper viewing, and then, last thing I picked up is the new box, one of the new box sets from Vinegar Syndrome, which I film I already own, one of them I already own on Blu-ray, but it might be one of those, like, not so legit Blu-rays, I don't know, um, but a film that I actually reviewed a long time ago on a, a podcast or whatever. Uh, but I picked up The Homegrown Horrors Volume 2, which is supposedly all slasher editions. Um, Moonstalker is the film that I was talking about before. Uh, I have another copy of that. Um, but Hanging Heart and Dead Girls. I'm not too really familiar with any of those other films. But the first Homegrown Horror box set was amazing and Definitely was looking forward to this edition, Volume 2. Hopefully, they continue to pump in these things out every year or so. Um, fun little independent budget horror films. Um, but looking forward to checking out Moonstalker again. I did like it the first time I watched it on the other Blu-ray. But when it comes to transfers, nobody beats Vinegar Syndrome. So, it probably is going to look a lot better than that other Blu-ray. But that is... Everything I picked up in the last month or so during the holidays, post-holiday update video, uh, 2023 is right around the corner. I'm going to really, really try my hardest to uh, 
get back into and do more videos. I know I say that in every video I post every six months or so, something like crazy like that. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. Got a lot of fun ideas to keep the channel alive again, get it going. Um, so look forward to that. I'll see you guys soon. Love y'all. Peace.